Good morning. January New Year's resolutions, right? Well, I was recently at an advisor training event that we were putting on, and I was talking to the advisors, and everybody was trying to figure out what you know, their goal or their objective is their resolution was going to be for this year. And we were talking about things that they need to be doing right now with regards to developing relationships with centers of influence. And the one word that came up, and the one word I want to leave with you today is intentional. Because this is a time of year to be intentional about what it is you're trying to accomplish. And then you need to be obedient to your intentions. See, right now is a great opportunity to have those type of conversations, those exact words, with the centers of influence you're developing relationships with. You're not just targeting centers of influence that got high net worth clients because you want to get to their clients. That's old school. You're building relationships. You're offering value. You're helping them with the, address the issue of risk. And in doing so, they expect something from you. They, they're starting to understand that you care. So what happens is, you have to go to them now and say, these are the things that you need to do. You need to be intentional with what you're trying to do. You need to be obedient to those attentions, and you need to say, today is the day that I begin building better relationships with my best. Because that's ultimately what needs to happen. Because they can't do great work for their best clients if they don't have great relationships. A lot of times these, these CPAs want to do, let's just use CPAs for example, want to do you know, exotic work for their clients that were brought in by people they're working with. And their clients don't have a great relationship with them and they don't understand the solution so they do what everybody does and they say, go to the default of, I don't think so. You know, recently somebody was presenting a solution to their client, which was a CPA firm, and the CPA tried to present it to his client and he says, oh my goodness, he's not going to do it because I don't have a relationship with him. To not have a relationship with your very best clients, that's a problem. That's risk. That's riddled with risk. So how can you help them? How can you really start to solidify your relationship with your centers of influence? By having them have key conversations with their best starting with the very first one right now. And that means you deciding to be intentional with your relationship with them, with the intent to develop an amazing relationship that will monetize on both ends, of course, because you're a professional, but you have to be intentional with that. And you go to your CPA and you say, let's say it's a CPA, you say right now is when you need to be speaking with your best and let them know, here's what happened last year, here's what I'm going to be doing this year, to address last year and you going forward, and here is what you can expect from me in our next meeting after tax season. See, that's just one in a series of three conversations they need to have with their best. They need to have that one right now. So they can do what? They can restate, reset, and set the table going forward. What does that do? That puts an accountability factor in the relationship with their best clients. All of a sudden their best client says, okay, he knows what happened last year, he's got a plan for me this year, and he's going to address that plan for me mid-year, so that I'm not chasing my tail at the end of the year. This is an important conversation for your CPA relationships to be having with their best relationships right now, if they want to make them better. And then when the time comes to have that review in mid-year, they need to sit down with them and say, okay, here's where you're at so far. Here's what the rest of the year looks like, and here are some ideas. Here's some things we should address because I am here to take care of you comprehensively, holistically, cradle to grave, because I care about you, and our relationship is going to show that. And the where does he get those wonderful solutions? How does he get the confidence to have those conversations? He gets the confidence from you because you're intentional with your relationship with him, helping him be better to his best. So in just those two conversations, he sets the stage for a relationship he intends to develop to be incredible. He says, listen, Mr. Best Client, this is what we do, here's what I'm gonna do for you, and you go out and have a great year, and I'll make sure that I take care of everything you expect from me, and guess who he's gonna lean on to do that? He'll lean on you. See, the key here is doing what's right for him so he can do what's right for his best. But he has to have that conversation. And he's not going to go have that conversation if someone doesn't tell him to. Someone doesn't know and explain to him why he should. And that person has to be someone he trusts. He's not going to trust you unless you're intentional with your relationship to develop that trust. It starts with the relationship. It starts with having conversations.